Okay, I'm going in part 3 with XREFs. It will just take me like 5 minutes. I didn't find enough time to finish everything that I needed to. So, I'm going to explain, uh, you know, how to work with the overlay. But this time I am going to start with a new drawing called Third Floor Plan. So, I just created a new drawing, saved it as a third floor plan, and uh, this is where I'm going to start laying out the third floor. So to lay out the third floor, first thing I need to do is I can use the overlay of the first floor and the second floor and then work the third floor accordingly. Rather than just starting uh, somewhere, I'm going to use the reference of the first and the second floor. So for that, I'll go to insert, I'll go to attach, I will click on the first floor plan, open, and hit OK and insert it on 0 comma 0 comma 0 enter so I already have my first floor up here I'm even gonna get another one I'm going to attach another extra I can attach as many extra that I want in one file so this time I'm going to attach the second floor plan hit open and hit OK and where do I insert it 0 comma 0 comma 0 all of them I start on this point and insert it in the same location. Now if you see, right now you cannot see if I have two XREFs or one. Like if I click on first floor, see it selects everything. Now if I click on the second floor, which is over here, you see I that shows I have two XREFs with all the walls lining up in the right place. I could even move the second floor so you can see you know they are on top of each other okay so now again this is my third floor drawing so I will start using uh, this template for working with my third floor so I could go home I could go to uh, create the new layer and then I could uh, add my third floor now if you look in the layer panel you see the layer panel already acquired layers from the second floor it acquired the layers from the first floor and this would be the layer for my third floor right so I work over here I make that layer current and I can start drawing my lines like my first floor is going to go straight on um, on the second floor so I could just use that for tracing and this is where I will draw my third floor so this makes life a lot more easier because I have uh, something to look what's underneath I know where all the wall locations are so my third floor would go in the same uh, pretty much location right so I could lay my walls accordingly so it makes my life a lot more easier so this is my third floor walls I could offset them and you know continue working so I hope you understood how this thing works and once I am done with laying my walls for the third floor I can go hide or delete my first floor xref I could go hide and delete my second floor xref and for doing that all I need to do is go to my xref uh, where I can just type xr right for xref and hit enter now if you look over here this is what we use to attach our xref or even this both of them are the same thing now I can click on the second floor it shows it's loaded I could right click I could unload it okay so when I unload it it shows that it's unloaded and it disappeared from here if I wanted to bring it back I could click on it right click I could reload it see it came back up again I could click on the first floor right click unload it so uh, the first floor disappears if I have to bring it back I click on the first floor right click reload it so unload and reload basically hides it and unhides it from the view but it doesn't delete it from here but instead of unload and reload if I clicked on there right click and if I hit detach 
it basically deletes my fourth floor from this drawing see now it's gone I don't even see it over here so if I want to bring in the first floor black back I have to go through the whole process of attaching a drawing clicking the first floor plan hitting open and then assigning it a location on the screen which is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so that's what were the different options that I wanted to cover with xrefs all you have to do is select that right click attach unload reload detach and bind I could bind two of them together but I'm not gonna go into that right now so uh, these were the different options with xrefs you could click on the xref it gives you more options over here as in edit the xref in the place just like you edit blocks open an xref which is you could open the same first floor xref in the first floor drawing I could clip the part of the xref that I want to show in my print uh, could you know unclip it and stuff like that so what happens with xref is basically when I print my drawing I will see my third floor and I will see my first floor in my print okay so I could use the clip to to just show part of my first floor in my print rather than showing the whole thing okay so that's where I could use the X rep clip or you can even call it X clip to use the keyboard command so uh, that pretty much I think covers the xref and I hope you understood how the xref work if I have 10 floors I could have all the 10 floors up here for reference I could use them for printing if I want or if I'm just using it for reference I could always uh, go click on it and unload it I would always go to the second floor click on it and unload it unless I wanted to show that in the print and now I already have my third floor template and this is where I will start working with my third floor drawing I'm sure that everything lines up in the right place so in case if I ever wanted to insert the third floor I could insert it the same way with 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay so one last thing about xrefs is now when I have already worked on my third floor and if I go to XR okay you will see that I have uh, so many xrefs attached to it and then uh, sometime I want to leave it there and sometime I don't want it to be there but what's the problem that happens is now when I'm working on this project and I would like to leave it there and uh, when my client he asked me to send the drawing to him or maybe it could be all uh, the consultants working on the project you have to send them the file so always there is a problem when you just send him this third floor plan and assume that the first floor and second floor xref is going to go with it okay but when he opens your third floor all he sees is the third floor he doesn't see he doesn't see the first floor neither does he see the second floor so this is how he will receive the file and down here somewhere it will say that the xref were missing and couldn't be found now that is what happens when you just send him this file and don't send him the first and the second floor that's underneath so in this case the only solution to this problem is there are a couple of them first you have to send him all the three files which is the first floor second floor and the third floor in his email or the best way to do it is you send him by something called as e-transmit so what e-transmit does it takes one drawing 
and it attaches all the references that's associated with the drawing. So the reference could be a drawing, it could be a picture, it could be a Microsoft Word file, it could be a schedule, it could be OLE objects. So everything would be attached together in a zip file and then that's how he takes the zip file and unzips it and everything works fine. So the, uh, the way you would be emailing him the file is you would go here and you would click send and in send there is something called as an e-transmit so it says over here creates a package of drawing files and their dependencies so this is the drawing file and these are the dependencies that you see over here again it could be a picture it could be a microsoft word it could be any OLE object it could be another drawing so you go there, go to send, and uh, I'm going to hit cancel. Go there, go to send, and e-transmit. It says the current drawing is not saved. Do you want to save the drawing? Yes. Now when I s do that, it pops up this window. So it's sending all the information that's attached to this file. I could even go here and add the files, extra files that I needed to send it and hit OK. Third floor plan and I'm going to save this. I'll save it on my AutoCAD architecture. Okay, So I think it's already saved. So I will go back to that folder AutoCAD AutoCAD architecture you see that over here is saved as a zip file now you you need a WinZip to unzip this file okay so if you double click if you had WinZip you would unzip this file I don't have WinZip so mine is not going to work so but this is how is going to work and you just send him this single file and this single file comes attached